to realize that my self-worth, my net worth as a human is not based on the title I have, the reputation I've built. Jeff Gargas is our guest today on Callum Connect's micro podcast. Jeff is the COO and co-founder of Teach Better Team, who has been starting and running businesses for nearly 20 years. A hurdle I've faced as an entrepreneur, probably the honestly the biggest hurdle I've faced, is tying my self-worth and the belief in myself, my confidence to a title or a specific venture or something that I said I was going to do versus the reason I do the things that I do. And and the biggest one that comes to mind is one of the first uh, mildly successful businesses that I started. I've been starting businesses for almost 20 years now in a wide variety of different industries, some of which have done pretty okay, some of which have burned <laughs> badly. But this particular one was was uh, one called FTF Records. It was a independent record label that I started and I had a, a few artists, had five artists under contract eventually. And we had a, a division that did concerts. We did about 150 uh, local shows every year, including uh, we also put on a, a music conference. We did Battle of Bands and all that. And we had a couple years of, of mild success at, at the local and mid-regional level. I had bands that, that toured around the country and, and, and one or two that went actually internationally as well. But the, the concerts division became a big thing in this area because we, we were the group that could get you on shows and get you started and also and, and help you along your way as you tried to advance to the next level. And because the label was called FTF and my name is Jeff, I kind of in the local area became known as like Jeff TF. It was like my, my little nickname that, you know, bands that knew me and stuff. And I, I really owned it. I, you know, I loved that. I loved being, I, I never had any wild idea that I was like the, the end all be all for an artist that I was going to make them famous or anything like that. But I, I did my best and I really wanted to be the guy that could help you move to the next level whether that was local to a little bit regional regional to a little bit national whatever it is like that's what I did that's what Jeff TF was and I tied so much to that for so long I'd said you know that was my plan I wanted to be in music I had to be in music I'd rather die than not be in music and, and everything so so much was tied to that well it was a tough time in the, the music industry CD sales were on the way out and we didn't know where it was going and we were struggling and you know I promised myself as an artist first as a musician first that I would never take advantage of an artist and that the day that I thought that I might do that was the day I'd quit so it got really tough we, we ran out of money made some mistakes it was a tough part of the industry and we ran out and I had to shut it down and uh, telling people and admitting that I had failed so miserably after seeing some success I just crashed and burned depression hit I was just low avoiding people and one day came to, to fruition and then I broke down the hall crying and my wife looked at me and said you know what's what's going on I said well if I'm not Jeff TF who am I and she just looked at me the way she does and she said, well, you're Jeff and I love you. And it took me for a while to realize what that meant, but what I pulled from that and, and how I faced that hurdle was to realize that my self-worth, my net worth as a human is not based on the title I have, the reputation I've built within a specific industry. Obviously, your reputation as a human is one thing, but it wasn't connected to a company I was trying to build, a thing I was trying to do, something I said. It was connected to me, the type of person I am the type of person I'm trying to be and how I'm trying to help people. So don't let a title, a risk you took, a failure you had define you. Define yourself by the reasons you do things. Why you go out every day and do what you do. And if you're not enough without. If you enjoy learning from entrepreneurs, just do a search for Callum Connects in Google. I've done deep dive interviews with more than 1,500 entrepreneurs and business leaders so that you can learn from them. Mm-hmm.